On this video, I'm going to show you how you can uh, add your desired templates uh, to, or your desired tokens to all of your posts automatically. Uh, it's real simple. Just uh, what you need to do is make sure that you have the templates that uh, tokens that you want first. So I created these two tokens that I liked in the last video. So now I'm going to remove them from this post because I don't want them to show up in this post. Otherwise, they'll show up in the post because it's in the post and because of the way I'm going to be adding them to all of them. I'm going to add a new plugin. You could do this with any ad manager plugin you have. I use one, uh, a very simple one, just to get it done called Post Layout. Uh, this is a free version of it. There is a paid version, Post Layout Pro. You can use. Uh, any of them. There's one I think that's called Ad Manager. There's uh, Why Do Work for Ads. Anything that allows you to drop in code that is going to appear on the pages, it will work. So I've now installed Post Layout. I've activated it. It's that simple. Uh, now I go to the settings for it. It's either in the WordPress uh, setting or in the settings box, or there was a link to it. So. I don't even mess with the mobile devices part of it. I just work with the uh, main. Uh, so for desktop browser, even if you have a mobile device, I've looked with it, uh, it uh, on my iPhone, it still works fine. Um, so I want the, my ads to show up before the content. I just drop it in here. This is on a single post. So those were posts that I build. I want that to be in it. If I wanted anything in the middle, I could drop it in here. If I want it to be after the content for you WordPress mage users that uh, can't use eBay, drop in this uh, default one with 20, 30, however many you want. Uh, drop it after the content so it's all the way at the bottom. If your site is built with a lot of pages as content, you can use it on pages. Uh, generally, uh, most pages are just for things like your about me, contact us, disclaimers, things like that. So generally, those aren't uh, used for them. Uh, for, um, uh, and I don't do anything with any of these others. So I just put it before the content. I hit save. Let's close that window. Now let's view the blog in uh, a new tab here. Alright, so I've been staring at this page trying to figure out why my ads aren't showing up. Uh, I've only been playing with the uh, last latest version of the plugin for uh, about a day, so uh, I find out uh, things on how it works all the time. Uh, this is the home page. My home page is set to show the latest posts. Using that post layout, I told it to put it on a single post, so it's not going to show on the home page. So when we click through to a post, that's when the ads are going to show up. Uh, that is not my plugins issue. That's the issue with how I told it to do it here. I told it to do it on a single post. So I could do it on a page that might put it or right here home on the home page. Do I want it on the home and category and other pages? Yeah, actually I do want it on the home pages. I said before I didn't do that uh, on it, but I really do want some content on my home page. So now it should work on the home page too. But let's go back to look at this uh, page here. And let me show you something here. We're on a page for blue sweater. The keyword is blue sweater. And what do you see? lots of blue dog sweaters okay and these all look the same but they're different this is large medium small extra large so they are actually different ads uh, but look how relevant it was able to find they have 50 million products they're sorting so they were able to find us a blue dog sweater uh, if we go to one of our other posts frontline plus let me show you what you have here you have Frontline Plus for dogs. You notice every single one of these is for dogs. I'll tell you why that's important, because Frontline Plus also sells cat items. So let's go back here to our main, uh, well, okay, so that is, now I put it on all my pages. Every single one of my pages has that, boom, done. See how easy 
it actually was to put it on it. If your site has a thousand pages, ten thousand pages, you now have all of those on the pages. Uh, you can't really test the search engine refer easily, uh, especially since this site was just set up for this demo. It's not in the search engine, so I can't show you how that works. But if they come in on there a slightly different keyword, but to this page, the ads will change to match that new keyword, like it on that uh, sweater page. If they come into this sweater page looking for a large blue dog sweater, it will only show large blue dog sweaters. Uh, but let me show you what happens if you don't append the global keyword for this site. And it might be different for your site, it might change, but I'm going to take out this append global keyword here option, and I'm going to save it. Now let's go back to this blue dog page, blue, do blue sweater page, and let's refresh it, and let's see what our ads look like. There's our blue sweater ads. Not at all one bit targeted. WordPress made users. This is what you need to pay attention to. With your keywords like blue sweater on your dog site, it doesn't work if you don't do the global append of the default keyword. And like I said, even if your keyword is already in the title, it will still know what to do. So on this site, blue sweaters did not work because we took off the global keyword. Let's look at Frontline Plus. Well, it's pretty good because Frontline Plus is a product for dogs and cats. Look here, we have a cat ad on our dog site. So see, Frontline Plus was close, but still not exactly right. If they want, if this is a dog site, I don't want to show the cat ad. So that's why I use the appending of the global keywords. Um, now this one, the keywords here, if you, you take out the common usage words, so we have Frontline Plus and Dog. All of the ads should be correct because it already has the keywords. And even with the global keyword added to this, what you're not seeing behind the scenes is it would say using Frontline Plus for your dog dogs because our keyword was uh, global keyword was dogs that I had here. It doesn't matter. It can it will take care of a duplicate keywords like that. So really important for mage users to use that global keyword and other people still if your site is about one particular product do it. Uh, you know it's not it's only going to help you get the ads more targeted. So make sure you leave that on. Let's go back to our ads here and see what comes up. Now, all I did is save that page. This page is dynamically loaded when a new visitor hits it. So all I, I told it now to add dogs to the keyword, Frontline Plus, and look, the cat ad is gone. I didn't have to change anything, save anything, do anything else except for in the options. Just save that option. The page is dynamically generated, so each time we visit it, now we're back to dog sweaters. So I hope you understand now how this can really help you uh, with your sites and your earnings. Remember when they click through to these sites, you're going to earn a percentage of the sales price. I generally say that the percentage could be between 8 and 15 percent. Uh, you know, so if you're looking at higher dollar items, that's a significant amount before the, uh, you know, bef when versus the pennies you get from eBay. Yes, you get paid per click, but how many clicks are you going to get with eBay? And with Amazon, yeah, you get decent percentage, you know, uh, you can get 6 7% or more uh, easily from Amazon, but you're looking at a one-day cookie, which means that if they don't buy it within 24 hours, you don't get credit for the sale. The average time to sale that Prosperant has figured out on some of the big items is 16 days. Uh, across the board, the average is about 7 days. So yeah, some people will buy immediately, some people will buy it 30 days. So that's why the average 
is in between that, uh, you know, way past what Amazon gives us. So with I really believe that if you put a few of these at the top, you, you could do much better than with eBay and Amazon. And I know a lot of WordPress mage users I've seen lately in the forum say, oh, they don't make anything with Amazon. I do decently with Amazon. Uh, I have heard from another person who said that he added these transparent style ads to his site. He did 20 times his Amazon earnings. I'm only hoping that I can get to that 20 times. Uh, my earnings right now is not as high as it could be because I just got the plug-in finished and now I'm going to roll it out to hundreds of sites over this next week.